So Newton doesn't have any architecture. We start with a single neuron, one neuron, uh, connected to the inputs, and then train its weights. Then, with constant cross-validation, the framework understands, and all of this happens in fully automatic mode, the, the framework understands that there is more room to train, for example. It adds an additional neuron, and then it connects it uh, sparsely, maybe to the previous neuron, or other neurons, or maybe inputs. You might have a situation when you have uh, one of the latter, maybe the last added neuron, which is connected to inputs, neuron number two, neuron number 37, and so forth. We call it selective neuron connectivity approach. And having <coughs> trained a neural network this way, node by node, growing its architecture as it trains, uh, uh, and the way it, it, it happens is it, every time uh, it adds a new neuron, it freezes all the previous stuff it has trained, and then only trains its weights. It makes sure that every single node has a purpose, has a, 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 an impact on the outcome. And having trained a neural network like this, without quantization, without pruning, without compression, out of the box, is going to be 10 times, sometimes 100 times smaller and faster than anything you can achieve with TensorFlow. So this cornerstone uh, with accuracy, and we did make sure that this approach does not compromise accuracy, We've tackled the other two uh, uh, aspects uh, in a major way. So the footprint is reduced dramatically, 10 times, 100 times. And as a function of that, the inference time decreased dramatically.